Hello, 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 and welcome to something a little bit different. Now, there's been quite a little bit of drama going on to do with helicopter rushes and uh, current tournament. A lot of heli rushes being used in said games. And a lot of people have been having a little bit of an outcry about it because it's a rather cheesy strategy. And really, I don't want to get into the drama of helicopter rushing. That's not the reason I made this video. I want to just talk about the strategies the reason why helicopter rush is are good and just what makes helicopter rush a helicopter rush what you can do to counter it and my idea to maybe help curb the problem so simply let's start off with what is a helicopter rush uh, heli rush has been around in war games since european escalation now land battle so on and so forth it's been with us for a long long time and simply put, you get a lot of helicopters, you rush into the enemy point early on in the match, like it's a Rise of the Valkyrie scene in Apocalypse Now. In Wargame, there's two types of helicopter rushes that are usually done. The first type are town captures. It's when you get a lot of infantry transport helicopters with infantry inside them, supported with a few recon and attack helicopters, and the whole idea is that you rush into an enemy front ridge town and try to capture it with your infantry in the helicopters before the enemy can get the air and ground troops. You get in there, get into the edge, and you shoot anything that there gets too close. Secondly, you got the all-in helicopter rush. This is a crazy one you don't see all too often, and it really only works with Red 4. And simply put, you get a lot of attack helicopters with a few recon helicopters, and the entire point is to knock out all the enemy command vehicles in two to three minutes so you automatically win the match. This is a very risky strategy to do because you're going to have to fly very close to the enemy front lines or literally right over it and then flying into the enemy base sector is an absolute pain because they can just spawn AA units, Yen and Yeah. So you may be thinking how does one counter a helicopter rush? Because in all honesty, in war game, helicopters are a rather flimsy piece of equipment. They're very easy to kill. You get longbow too close to the front line, Yatsunguska is going to want to say hello. So the first thing is that you get anti-helicopter AA at the start of the match. IR AA, like two crow towels and a flag panzer to part. And that sounds like a rather good idea on paper. But the problem is, is that once you get them up to the front line, the helicopter is going to get there first, already being in position, because, to be honest, a lot of ground AA is rather slow, only going 110. You do have the few that go 150, like trucks with AA missiles on the back, or crow towels, so on and so forth. And you're not going to have enough to kill a dozen helicopters, especially rear of a standard force, because you're only going to spend 100 to 200 points at the start of the match on AA. Because it's not the main priority. You're going to want CVs to capture the important plus two sectors. And infantry and tanks to hold said sectors. AA isn't a big issue. A big priority for you at the start of the match. So you're not going to have enough to kill the enemy helicopters. And heck, they may even send planes to try and blow up your forces. And speaking of planes, you may think, well, you could just get interceptor planes. They're rather good at dealing with longbows and attack helicopters. The problem with that is that they take too long to kill said helicopters because they have to fly around, do a strafe and run, come back, fly around, do a strafe and run, and by that time, they're out of signed rider missiles. So that doesn't exactly work all too well either. So then you really come down to run option. And that is to get a lot of AA units, Crow Towers, Flag Panzer Depars, your ADATs, Tunguskas, Osray KMs. You get all those big juicy AA units, spend 500 points and all of that, so you can just stop this initial helicopter rush. But a big problem with that is that you don't even know if your opponent is going to helicopter rush you. And this is one of the big problems that people have with helicopter rushes, is that it's a rock, paper, scissors game. You just do not know at the start of the match yet your opponent's going to helicopter rush you unless you are psychic. And well, that is a rather big problem because if you say you get a standard ground force to play a standard run v run and then they helicopter rush you, they're going to get into the town first, get the front line faster and well, 
be a rather pain in the butt, so you're going to be at the disadvantage here. But let's say you get a lot of AA to counter a potential helicopter rush, but then they don't helicopter rush you, and they got a bunch of heavy tanks, your AA units, unless it's an ADAT or Stormer, aren't going to really be able to do all that much, and they're pretty much just going to be useless. So you just do not know what to do at the start of the match. And also, usually with helicopter rushes, is too many helicopters to kill. There's an awful lot of them, especially when there's a dozen infantry helicopters. You may be able to kill half of them, but you're going to run out of ammo, or they're just going to focus fire and kill your AA unit, because most AA units are rather easily killable. And that's the two main reasons why helicopter rushes are very powerful. You just don't know when they're going to come, so you're not going to have enough AA units to deal with them. And it's just so many helicopters in such a short time period at the start of the match, you just possibly cannot kill all of them. So I have a simple solution, a simple idea that right I think could help curb this helicopter rushing. And that simply put is to make it so you cannot buy infantry or attack helicopters during the deployment phase of the game. You can still get logistical, logistical infantry carrier helicopters, recon and recon infantry carrier helicopters. And by doing this, I think you really stop the main problem of those crazy infantry blobs rushing into town, landing, and then you got a bunch of Gurkhas, Fusilier 90s and SAS ruining up your day are denying you that fight over the town. Now, you could argue with me that with recon helicopters, you could still do some rather cheesy strategies of getting like a, two longbows, some Cobra AHJs, and you know, some Navy SEALs and Rangers in transport helicopters. But the big problem with doing that is going to spend a lot on recon cards to begin with instead of getting those good ones like Bradley's and LAV 25s if you're playing a no red deck. And you're just not going to have that many, and it's very expensive. Longbows and recon helicopters are more expensive than your standard attack helicopters. And same with recon infantry. So yeah, simply put, I think if you were to put that in, it would really stop the helicopter craziness. You can still get helicopter infantry at the start of the match, but you have to wait for them to spawn out of your base, and then fly from the back of your base to the area and you can still get to those frontal areas quickly with a few infantry helicopters but nothing in a crazy blob and I think that's a rather good compromise and yeah simply put I just wanted to talk about helicopter us in here I hope you guys learned a few things and that's yeah, simply my suggestion to hopefully make helicopter rush in less of a gameplay in Raw game, because I can understand from a tournament perspective when you're watching matches, it's a rather boring thing to watch and it really kills the momentum of the match. So I'm going to shut up and end it at that. This has been another Rangaroo video thingy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as usual, please just take it easy.